Hey gamers, the Nintendo Switch is one of the most iconic consoles in gaming history, packed with amazing titles across every genre. But let's be real, not everyone can afford one, especially in regions where it's not even officially sold. And just when emulation was helping bridge that gap, Ryujinx was sadly discontinued on October 1st, 2024. But don't worry, Kenji NX is here to keep the emulation dream alive. Originally built by GDK Chan in C Sharp, this open source emulator focuses on performance, accuracy, and ease of use. It's not a Ryujinx revival, but a smart middle ground between popular forks like Green Devs and Ryujinx Mirror, with extra features contributed by devs like Keaton the Bot. So if you're ready to turn your PC or laptop into a full-fledged Nintendo Switch, this video is your step-by-step -step guide. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's dive into Kenji NX. For beginners, let's start from the very beginning. The first step is to download and install the new Kenji NX emulator. You can grab Kenji NX from their GitLab page. It's currently available for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. I'm hoping that an Android version will be available very soon. So keep your eyes on our channel. For this tutorial, I'll be installing Kenji NX on my Windows machine. If you're using a different operating system, the steps are pretty much the same. Just click the Windows download button, and the .exe file only about 30 to 50 megabytes will start downloading automatically. Once downloaded, you'll need to extract the zip file. If you don't have an extractor, I recommend using 7-Zip, a free and reliable option. Open the extracted Ryubing folder and look for the executable file with the Ryubing icon. This is your .exe launcher. When you first launch the emulator, you'll see a warning that says, Encryption keys are missing. Without these, Ryubing won't run any games, but don't worry, we'll fix that next. Go to Actions button at the top bar, then Install Keys. Choose the key file or directly zip archive, or directory that contains your keys. Once done, Ryubing will confirm that the keys were installed successfully. Next, you'll need to install the firmware files. It's crucial to use the correct and latest firmware for Ryubing to work properly. Just like before, go to Action, then Install Firmware, then select the firmware file from your storage. Now let's install some games on Ryubing. Go to Options at the top bar, then open Settings. Under Game Directory, you need to add the folder where you have legally stored your games. Here, you can also add directories for DLCs and updates. Ryubing supports both NSP and XCI file formats. Disclaimer, the emulator itself is legal, but using illegal ROMs is forbidden. I do not support or provide access to pirated games, so please use legal copies for your safety. You can see all your games in the game library. Here you can check which games are playable, along with their version and size. Using this button, you can switch the view from list mode to grid mode. You can also increase the grid size to make it look better and easier to access. We are almost ready to play. Let's finish setting up the controls. Go back to options and open settings. We were already introduced to the interface while adding the game directory. Here, another thing you can do is change the theme to light or dark mode, but I prefer using dark mode. Head to the input section. You'll see player 1, 2, and 3 for multiple controllers. By default, the control method is set to keyboard. You can remap keys as you like. I just made a little change here. You can follow my layout. Got a gamepad? Just select it under input device. You can also set the type of controller. Make sure the control mode is set to docked. In the general settings, check out hotkeys to customize keyboard shortcuts that help you use the emulator more comfortably. Under the System tab, set your region, language, and time zone. But the setting that actually affects gameplay is the DRAM size. I recommend 6GB, though 8GB is fine too. In the CPU settings, if your device has low power, then you should enable low power PPTC, it's very helpful. It is recommended not to change the memory manager mode. Under the graphics tab, choose Vulkan API for best performance, especially on NVIDIA or AMD. OpenGL is also available if needed. Here, enable texture graphics recompilation. It will help reduce VRM usage while playing games like Astral Chain, Bayonetta, or Super Mario Bros. You can increase the resolution up to 8K, but I recommend using the native display resolution. For anti-aliasing method, set it to FXAA. Leave Windows binary at default by near. Set anisotropic filtering to 2X. For screen ratio, use the stretch mode for more coverage. Now comes the exciting part. Just double-click any game from your library, and boom. The Hollow Knight is running on Kenji NX at full speed with great frame rates. It's a smooth and impressive performance. 
If you found this helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more emulator content just like this. Have any questions or want me to test a specific game on Ryubing? Drop a comment below, I love hearing from you all. Until next time, game on, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.